All right, well, that went well. <laughs> now, a little bit about the model around this. Mark, do you want to talk to this slide? Sure. As you guys can imagine, uh, Skype is uh, not growing up in source, so oh well. Um, we, understood, uh, we understood that was a, not a likely uh, uh, move there. So um, basically, Skype for Asterisk will be licensed uh, just like 729 is, G729 is. So it'll be on a per channel basis. Pricing hasn't been announced yet, but will be announced for uh, the general availability. And then uh, we're going to be, uh, as you heard in there, uh, we're launching a, uh, a beta program that you guys can uh, start signing up for right away. Um, and I think there's going to be a, a limited number of those um, that will be uh, initially approved for, for participating in the, in the, the program. I right know there's going to be a tremendous amount of demand out there for, uh, for this connector. And we have to have a small enough group that we can work with engineering. So definitely want to hear uh, what you guys want to do with it and uh, what things you guys are doing. <coughs> Maybe even beyond just the PPIs. Yeah. And from a Skype perspective, um, uh, the model will be the following. So once you've bought the module um, from the Digium website, you can install it and uh, make as much Skype calls Skype, Skype calls as you like. If you want to call through to normal phones, you'll need to have credit on the account, just like Frank's that kind of call. Um, and then we will also sell a business package that will give uh, extra support, um, some calling credit, um, some additional um, value added uh, things that we'll throw in there. Uh, but, but all of this, the exact details of how it will work, uh, we want to work with you guys in the beta program uh, to finalize. Uh, so uh, on a high level, that's how it's going to work, but, but the details uh, will work out together.